we figured out the premise for the sketch, which was this on-air meltdown. Then You Know It became a movie, which we were in pre-production for. We lost financing four days before shooting. I'm sad for you, but I'm happy for you. For me. Yes, your game right? became our game. We, be, we be, became aware creatively that probably the best thing ended up happening. Brock Meyer is a guy who kind of reinvents himself out of a tragedy, really, out of the ashes of his career in the new digital world. And as he puts it, what was the very instrument of his destruction, the internet, could also be his salvation. And for guys like me and Mark Marin, who kind of reinvented himself with this podcast, yep. and a lot of folks, I couldn't have walked in places seven years ago with this idea and got it made. We saw it as a short first. And then ultimately, it became the pilot, really, for yes, us, right? Yes, the short because, was the pilot. Because we typically no longer do pilots, but there's always something that is kind of the genesis of, right. of a series. We saw the short, loved it, and thought, well, now where does this character go? And what do you, what do, you do with right. that? Well, what Bronkmeyer doesn't realize, he's been gone 10 years after his meltdown. And he thinks he's, as he calls it, a joke that everybody's forgotten about by now. And he's safe to get back into baseball because nobody remembers. Not realizing that he's become a viral video, which is terrible news to him. And realizes in the course of the series that maybe if he leans into that, as Amanda Peet's character tells him, no one cares you call baseball games well. They care that you're a charismatic open wound, uh, which after a few belts, Brock Myers willing to be on the air. I loved watching him get there because you did feel his pain because he was so saddened that people were laughing at his pain. Yes. So many people were laughing at his pain. Um, which, you know, I loved seeing that evolution and then how you're able to embrace it with a lot of booze. A lot of booze. Yeah. Um, and other drugs too. Yes, Let's not correct. leave out other drugs. Correct. Let's be fair to well, you know, cocaine needed, and yeah. choose some cotton. He needed, he, he, needed some to, pot. he needed to get there. So what's interesting about this is the project came to us through the, you know, the viral video, the, the popular um, short on Funny or Die, and led us to what is ultimately one of the shows that we're most proud of right now on IFC. But, you know, at the same time, it's that very format that is um, a place we're finding great talent and great content and a place where we're fighting every day. But, you know, embracing it certainly is a means for development and finding, you know, finding gems. Much like Brock Meyer himself and myself. I was talking to Bill Hader about this yep. stuff and he's saying that trying out characters in the digital world, it's a great place to do it because it's, it's a big safety net. If it doesn't work, really nobody cares. Right. But if it's your first big feature film, it's a big swing, and if it doesn't work, you're not going to get another chance for a while. Yeah, so it it's doesn't a good always work. No, good place to work stuff out. Mm -hmm.